have Wide World of Sports for you tonight, Channel 3 style. A little something for everyone. We've got high school baseball and softball. We have got college lacrosse. We've got high school lacrosse as well. Some college baseball thrown in there. We begin with college lacrosse, though, and the Worcester State women in action tonight hosting Curry. Lancers led by some local kids and a great crowd on hand for this one. They were active. They were boisterous. First half, Curry's Kelly Parker with the goal, and it's 4-3. Curry is down by one. Leading scorer, Kayla Chase for Worcester State. She's the Northbridge kid. Curry on the eight meter. Lancers goalie, Krissa Pessa, coming up big with a great save. Then Parker with another twine finder. She was on fire. Curry with a 5-4 lead. Worcester State's Jackie Connors to Elena Martin. Martin denting the mesh. We're all tied up at five. Curry's Mallory Knowlton. Robbed by Pessa. Chase. The Northbridge standout feeding Alexa Vecarelli. Vecarelli scores, and we are all tied up at six apiece. Curry on the eight meter. Pessa coming up big. That's a great save. Now, Chase on the run, taking it to the D, fires and robbed by Annie Douglas. Caitlin Murphy and Martin with a give and go. Murphy ripples, seven to six, Worcester State up by one. Former Channel 3 reporter Anna Botari, though, smiling tonight. Curry with a 17-16 come from behind win. Worcester State, Rhode Island College, game two of a doubleheader. Bottom of the fifth, three nothing, Rhode Island College. Rachel Cotto, singling for Worcester State. That's great hustle. Then Courtney Salisbury with a rocket. Look where this one hits. Off the top of the wall. Hit the yellow just inches from a home run. Cotto taking third. Salisbury moving into second. She's got a double, and the Lancers are threatening. Haley Terry lifting the sacrifice fly to right. Cotto tagging and scoring. It is three to one. The U is on the board. Sydney Dupree, former Wachusett standout, having a monster season for the Lancers. Smokes one. Salisbury scores. It's three to two. RBI double for Dupree. Worcester State wins this one five to four on a walk-off win in eight innings. Now we got Doherty visiting North at the lake this afternoon. Good inner high battle. Top of the first Doherty's Nick David with the Texas Leaguer. Drops in JJ Early and Cam Casper both coming across the dish. And it is a two-nothing Highlanders lead. Chris Watson, Oling, opposite field power. Shot, David, coming around to score. And the Highlanders taking a three zip lead. Watson, Oling, aggressive on the base pass. Stealing third, pitch gets away and here he comes to the plate. Oh, Nelly. Watson, Oling scores and it is four nothing Doherty. Good aggressive base running. Bottom of the first, Watson Oling on the hill. Fielding his position well. Just doing it all out there. Snaring the laser. Norths, Daniel Heredia. Pitching well for the Polar Bears, using the breaking ball for the strikeout. Bottom of the second, Norths, Brendan Bishop. Little tweener, plates Heredia, making it 4-1. Doherty getting the win, though, today. 10-3 is your final. All right, Jake Byrne, former St. John star, leading Assumption against Stonehill. Andrew Janig, the leading hitter for the Hounds, ready for this one. Top of the third, 3-0 Assumption. Mad Dog Mike Curtis on the hill. He gets the strikeout. Curtis had a 15-strikeout game earlier this year. Now Brian Campbell for Stonehill, flaring one into right. Justin Nicholas scores, and it's 3-1. Stonehill's on the board. Bottom of the third, Tom Payne. Former Nipmuc standout draws the walk. Two batters later. Janie unloading. Opposite field power for the sophomore. Line shot out of the park. It is a two run tater. Assumption going in front 5 1. Fourth home run of the year for Janie. And everyone's out of the dugout. They're happy with their friend, teammate from the City of Presidents, Quincy Mass. Colin Clancy. Smoking one. To right center, Hunter Trally coming around to score. Six to one, Assumption, an RBI double for Clancy. Top of the fourth, Curtis getting another strikeout. Justin Nicholas belting one to left. Janig on his horse. Great diving effort, can't come up with it. 
Brian Hawking coming to the plate. Hawking is safe. Six to two. Stonehill down by four. Assumption, though, gets the win. They have won four of their last five. 12 3, your final this afternoon. Grafton and Tantasco. Boys lacrosse. First quarter scoreless game. Grafton with the bid, but the shot is denied by Mike Lucas. Grafton's Anthony D'Angelo rolls back. Good fundamentals. Gets his hands free. Rips. Good bounce shot. Twine finder. It's 1 0 Indians. Tom Nesalik with the fast break finds Chase Kapusinski. And Kapusinski ringing one off the post. Tantasco applying the pressure. Kadrin Masumba with a big stop in net for Grafton. Kapusinski rolling. Fires. He scores. It's 4 0 Indians. Second quarter. Grafton's Ryan Tidsley setting up the play. Great passing. Brendan Coates with the shot and the goal. Wormburner, 5 0 Indians. Grafton, Najami, just like Sting. He just goes with the last name. Great bounce shot. Laser, and it's 6 0 Indians. And we've got more from Grafton. Tildesley finds Coates. Coates calling for it, calling for it, and now he has it, and he sets his feet and ripples. A little elevator shot, makes it 8-0 Indians. Grafton goes on to win this one 17-1. Your final, the Grafton boys lacrosse team looks great. They're going to be one of the top teams again in Central Mass. Good stuff. Thanks, Kevin. Appreciate okay. it. All right, for Kevin Chan, Tim McCollum, thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow night at 6.